Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for July 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. Also in the description box, you will find links to calculate either your Western or your Eastern chart. I have put those back in. Um, I had them up for a while and I took them down and I really wanted to put them back. So now I've done so. Um, you know, just look at it, just check it out. You don't need any, anything new, any sort of new information. Um, it's just a different degree, whatever. It's a, it's a different system. Um, but I find personally that I resonate more with my Eastern chart more than my Western chart a lot. So I wanted to give you guys that option to check that out for yourself. See which one resonates best for you. Yes. Also keep in mind that these energies or these, I'm sorry, these um, messages are timeless. Just because they're coming through for the month of July, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for July. Whenever you're watching it and it resonates with you, that's what, that's the message that's intended for you at that moment. Okay. All right, Aries. So let's, let's talk about this pre-shuffle here because the first thing that came out was the King of Swords. You could be dealing with an Aquarian, uh, an Aquarian, you could have Aquarius in your chart or maybe you're dealing with another air sign, Libra or Gemini. Um, but honestly, this feels like you, okay? And then the other card that came out was the sun, but it came out in reverse. And so I looked at that King of Swords and the first energy I got was like, oh shit. And then I looked at the sun because they both fell out face down. And then I looked at the sun and I was like, oh shit. And then I looked underneath the deck and there was the tower. So I, I don't know, I mean, some of you are dealing with your own personal tower moment some of you are dealing with a tower moment in the terms in like like your own personal one would be like an internal realization or an internal change for others of you this is external okay um now for those that are dealing with this external change all right cool maintain your sense of diplomacy things may look pretty abysmal right now on the surface but actually and that's what the, the sun in reverse is saying but actually Things are going to be much, are going to work out much better than you think. Okay. That's for both sides. Even now, if you're doing, dealing with some sort of internal tower moment, I feel like this King of Swords energy is a little more negatively aspected. Um, you might be being a real hard ass right now, either on yourself or maybe on some others. But again, things are going to work out much better than you think. Okay. Because then after the sun came the four of swords and now underneath the deck is the three of wands so regardless of what's happening for you aries you're on the right path and actually everything i'm i just i literally i literally just heard everything is going extremely well you just may not it just may not look like it on the surface okay oh kali dokali now also if you if you are being a hard ass right now just stop it's not necessary Stop beating yourself up so much is what that feels like. I mean, stand up for yourself, you know, like don't, don't allow yourself to be a pushover, but at the same time, you don't have to be such a hard ass. It's really just not necessary. It's only exacerbating the situation internally. Absolutely. Externally. Oh yeah. All right. And you may be, you may be very, very right here, Aries. You may be very right. But there's no, there's no reason to be such a dick about it. You may be really hurt too. And you kind of want to lash out and be like, yeah, I'll give you a taste of your own fucking medicine, you piece of shit. Don't do it, Aries. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's only going to make things harder in the end. It's only going to make things worse in the end. It's only going to delay the outcome. It's only going to draw things out. Honey, please, we ain't got time for that. Can we just get through this and 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 move forward, please? Thank you. <laughs> All right, Aries. Let's get into your shuffle here, and then we will see what we've got for you for the month. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of July 2019. Let's 
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aries, I'm seeing red for you, which is speaking to your root chakra. It's also speaking to some rage, anger, resentment. Sure, okay. But I'm also seeing purple. And as I was doing the prayer, I was hearing unconditional love is growing within you. And for some of you, oh, 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 oh boy. Oh boy, we've got more flyers here, Aries. But for some of you, that is why you might be being such a hard ass right now. Because you're, you're, um, you're settling into an unconditionally loving vibration. And for some of you, and this is literally what just came out <laughs> in, these, in this flyer, these flyers here. But some of you, as you're settling into an unconditionally loving vibration, you're starting to recognize and realize all of the ways that some people around you that may have been closest to you have backstabbed you. Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords. And you're kind of like, holy shit. You were an individual that was supposed to be unconditionally loving me. You told me you had my back. You said X, Y, Z, you made me feel, you made, you made sure I felt like I could, I could trust you. And you did this? And as you're starting to learn and understand unconditionally, unconditional love more, and the more you start to realize some of the things that have been going on around you, you are ready to chop some heads. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you know exactly where I'm going with this right now. For others of you, because you've heard me explain it before, but for others of you, the Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, the, well, okay. First, let me say it this way. The Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, in my opinion, are best friends, all right? Because they're both extremely logical. The thing about the Queen of Pentacles is she has more of an emotional scope on things, whereas the Queen of Swords ain't got time for the emotion, okay? Um, but because of that very logical nature of the Queen of Pentacles, but also the emotional nature of the Queen of Pentacles, she is one for some serious resentment. And once she has turned her back on you, it is really difficult to get her to turn back around because you, yo, you have got to bust your ass to prove to her that you are not gonna take advantage of her again. So, for some people around you, Aries, that uh, in your, uh, around you in life, man, they have got some serious work to do to get you to trust them again. Some serious work. <laughs> All right, let's give this five shuffles, guys. I don't know if I finished what I was talking about with the colors here because the, um... oh, I did, I did, yeah, I did, okay. Five shuffles, one. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two. <laughs> Three. Four. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And five. All right, Aries, let's see what we've got for you here. We're all energies, woo. Okay, we're starting with the King of Cups. That's interesting. <sighs> Taking emotional responsibility. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or Pisces. I just heard specifically, but you also could, I mean, it could be any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Scorpio, the, the, the King of Cups is the archetype of Scorpio, but also I heard specifically that you could be dealing with a Pisces, or maybe there's Pisces energy within you, like in your, in your, in your chart somehow. Um, like in Eastern astrology, my sun sign is Aries, but my Venus is in Pisces, so there you go. Uh, but... I heard, I just heard something about unrequited love. Unrequited love has kicked off in someone else or someone outside of you. Maybe there's someone that you're connected with that um, 
gave you the cold shoulder in the past, but now that you're giving them the cold shoulder, they're feeling the pinch. But there is also an energy of taking or needing, potentially needing to take some sort of emotional responsibility. That is on behalf of the people that are around you. So maybe you actually are the one that's taking the high road here, being emotionally responsible, um, being emotionally mature, and that's kind of either forcing or influencing others to follow suit in whatever way that would be would be best for them in terms of the situation with you. Whoa, the devil. Capricorn, potentially. Um, okay. Oh, oh, there's the sun again, though. This time it is upright because I'm not trying to read reversals when I do it this way. And we have the page of wands. All right, you could be dealing with a Capricorn specifically. I feel like that is something to to note you also could be dealing with a leo now honestly aries what this feels like even though the devil yes the devil is here um this really feels like you you are taking some sort of steps to release some sort of toxicity from your life and that starts that is kicked off this is really creating some sort of domino effect around you by you taking respons emotional responsibility, taking the emotional high road, being emotionally mature throughout this situation and doing what it, e what it is you need to do to rediscover yourself, to understand why some sort of toxicity, codependency, whatnot, whatever was in your life, why you've been experiencing it, what you were... Um, why you uh, were in this position to begin with. This Capricorn energy is speaking to, uh, the Capricorn with, within the devil here is speaking to um, work specifically for some. And there is somebody out there, actually a good friend of mine now, who, who uh, is dealing with some sort of nasty old work situation. So yes, yes. Um, But also, uh, on behalf of the people around you, I'm feeling like they're kind of being pushed towards releasing some sort of codependent or toxic influence in their own lives because they see you leveling up. Now, you may not be consciously aware of that. There really may not be any evidence that that's happening or they're taking those steps, but you may intuitively be picking up on it. You may be seeing some little tiny little things that would like, uh, uh, uh. Are you getting it? I think you're getting it, like that kind of thing. But it's nothing major, okay? Getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half of the reading. You could look at it as the first half, second half of your month. I personally recommend that you look at it as the first half, second half of the reading just because energies are fluid, time is an, is an illusion, and things just can intertwine in all kinds of different ways, yeah? But if it does resonate as the first half, second half of your month, then please take it as it resonates. Do whatever is best for you. Okie dokie, okie dokie. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have the Nine of Pentacles. You are good 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 aries like you are on it independent af independent as fuck like I, you don't need nobody and it's not even like that's a superficial thing you worked your ass off to get there which is why you can or at least you feel solid in taking the emotional high road not stooping down to a lower level because you don't need the validation from anybody else. You are good on your own. You can do bad all by yourself. You don't need nobody else to do that with you. So, <laughs> I'm thinking, it's that song. Um, it's a TLC song. I can do bad by myself <laughs> yes from um ooh on the tlc tip i love that album anyway that's the song that's coming through right now because this is you i mean you are goody good good aries and you got to remember that and keep them keep believing on that i can do bad by my damn self <laughs> i love them okay nine of pentacles it's coupled with oh there's that ace of swords uh king of swords again Woo! all right see but this uh, what did I say? 
You don't need anybody's validation. You're good. And honestly, you know the truth in this situation. You see things very clearly and you're not dealing with the fuckery. So before anybody tries to step to you with some sort of bullshit, you're shutting them down immediately. Now, for the most part, most of you are actually being quite diplomatic about it. For others of you, the advice is to not Queen of Swords it, instead que King of Swords it. The Queen of Swords is just gonna swing her sword around like willy-nilly in some cases, not, no, with no care in the world about who she cuts up in the process, okay? Like, for example, if I get, if I get emotionally riled up enough, not only am I coming for you, in this situation that I'm dealing with because it's between us, I'm coming for everybody else that seems like they want to get on. Yo, you want to get on in this too? Fine, I'm going to cut you down too. Like, see? No, no, no. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're doing this. <laughs> We're being diplomatic. Yeah? I, I, don't go swinging your sword unless it's absolutely necessary. Stay on your high ground. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, in the first half of your reading you have. Good. The Eight of Pentacles. Yes, this does have to do with work for some of you. Um, but for others of you, what this kind of is saying to me is you, this is speaking to the fact that, look, you've done your work. You know who you are. You're well established. And you're, and, and, and you're not afraid to continue the effort, to continue striving. I keep hearing struggling. Some of you feel like this work that you've been doing, that you've been building your life upon is a struggle. You don't have to see it that way, but you do. Okay. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with a Page of Swords. But you see now, ah, yes. See now, others are looking at you like, damn, what did he or she do? Like, what is that? How'd you get that? Like, let me, let me do some of that work too. What was that work that you, like, what did you do? What's your secret? We don't need to hide the secret. Because no one is better than the other. We all can do this. And if you want to help by like letting them know, I kind of want to say telling them about themselves, but be as diplomatic as possible. But like, if you do want to help, if someone is coming to you for advice, please, by all means, help them. Because... The more you empower others, the more you empower yourself, right? Like those days of keeping all the secrets, all of the, 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 the methods to yourself for fear of someone else outdoing you, psh, fuck that. Forget that. Because we're better in numbers. The stronger the collective, the stronger the individual. Or the stronger the individual, the stronger the collective. Yes, actually. The stronger the individual, the stronger the collective. Yeah? Your challenge <clears throat> in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have the Three of Wands. But you see, you are on the right path. This came up, didn't it? Did this come out in your pre-shuffle? I don't remember now. I it was on the bottom of the deck. Okay, well, for if I'm wrong, please forgive me. But the challenge here is to stay on your path and to recognize you were always on it to begin with, okay? Also, the challenge is waiting for some sort of return on an investment, waiting for a settlement to come in, waiting for a result to come in, a verdict maybe, the fruits of your labor. Three of Wands is coupled with, yes, the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, you're waiting for a return on an investment. Whether you've actually made some sort of financial investment or just an investment in time and energy, you're waiting on that return. That's a challenge right now. All right. Excuse me, especially with how sticky this fe situation feels. Tricky and licky. Wondering if you've even made the right decision to invest in some way, but ultimately it's going to pay out in your favor. It just, just be prepared because it may not necessarily look like the way you expected or the way you even wanted. But you are going to go, you are going to get a payout in some way, shape, or form. This could be in the form of money, absolutely. Um, that will be to your benefit, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you've got, ooh, the 10 of cups. I told you, I told you, emotional fulfillment. 
This payout is going to be good. And this just feels like emotional satisfaction. This feels like being free and clear and just ready to live again or ready to love again and just being happy and having an open heart and all that. Ten of Cups is coupled with... Oh! The Wheel of Fortune. Two tens, completions. So... Uh, what I really do feel like this Ten of Cups here is speaking to your own sense of emotional fulfillment that is that has come to a completion, which is also allowing you to be emotionally mature and the bigger person, I want to say here. But that emotional fulfillment and achievement that you have found within is now allowing the wheel to turn in your favor even more. Luck is on your side here. Okay, absolutely 100%. That feels so good, Aries. That 10, those two 10s right there, the 10 of cups and the 10 in the Wheel of Fortune, that feels so good. Congratulations. Okay, getting into the second half of your reading here, Aries, for a set of surrounding energies, you got, ooh, the eight of cups. Hell yeah, hell yeah, you're walking away. But you're walking away from the drama. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're walking away from the people. You're just walking away from the drama. And if they want to keep kicking up, kicking this shit up over and over and over, they need to be careful because eventually you're going to snap. But do your best not to do so. Just continue walking away. And if they just want to keep trifling like that, then you may just walk away from them altogether. Do what's best for you. Eight of Cups is coupled with... There you are, Aries, the Queen of Wands. Why? Because you can do bad all by your motherfucking self. I don't need you to do this. I don't. And it's not even like I'm trying to be arrogant or an asshole about it. Like, okay, maybe fine. There's a little bit of a twinge of being a little bit of an asshole. But you're pissing me off is what I'm feeling. Okay? Like, I don't... <laughs> I'm not even trying to say that, you know, I'm better than you or anything. I'm just, I'm solid. I'm good. I'm independent. I know who I am. I know what I stand for. I know what I'm capable of. And I know what I deserve. So no, I don't need you. <laughs> Get it, Aries. I know that's right. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, we have... Damn, there's that Queen of Pentacles again. These are two cardinal energies, guys. More Capricorn energy. Financially stable, financially solid, again, well-rooted, grounded, knows exactly who you are, what, exactly what you stand for. And the magnetism represented by the, by the feminine energy here also speaks to the fact that you can get whatever the hell you want especially in the nine of pentacles energy all three of these talks about getting exactly what you want without much of an effort at this point because it's just so damn easy for you and none of that none of this that's coming through is meant to make anybody feel inadequate okay so if you're a, a cross watcher dealing with an aries and this is triggering you, you are in no way are you inadequate. But this individual knows who they are. So it's about high time you got to that same place if you want to continue dealing with this individual. Period. Fine, fine, fine. If that's who you are, Aries, or if this, if this is who this Aries individual is, then grow up, show up, and become that king and queen, I'm sorry, that king of pentacles and wands to match your counterpart. You're only going to be better, a better version of yourself for it. So why not? That was a pretty specific message. message. <laughs> queen of pentacles is coupled with... <laughs> Justice. I'm going to get mine. You just wait and see. And I don't have to be trifling to get it. Why? Because I know who I am. 
and I know I put in the effort, and I know the universe is behind me. I'm getting, I'm getting riled up here. <laughs> I'm actually getting pretty hot. Um, but that's that Aries energy for you, man. I mean, come on. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Aries. Yes, okay, the chariot. Um, Cancerian energy. <clears throat> Very interesting, because I was talking about all this stuff about how I can get, you know, you can get what you want. I'm good, I can do bad by myself. But now you have a challenge in the chariot, which is grounding yourself or <clears throat> balancing yourself out in order to move forward. Okay, so the challenge there for some of you is the fact that you might have to leave some circumstances or people behind. Don't feel guilty about that. That's what I'm feeling like. There's, there's some sort of guilt here for feeling passionate enough about what you truly desire and moving towards it. Like getting your shit together and going after what it is you want. This also could be someone that, like the cross watcher, someone that you're dealing with. And also you could be dealing with a Cancerian. The chariot is coupled with, ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. Now you've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here in your reading, Aries. So, okay, but here's the thing. Because with the Ten of Cups, you've reached a sense of emotional fulfillment and contentment within yourself. But now the challenge is to get that external manifestation of that, phys of that emotional fulfillment. And for the most part, this feels like a relationship. Like you're looking for the external representation of a relationship that reflects the internal relationship you have with yourself. Okay. So in terms of that, this is a challenge, but it's not something I think you're fearful of. It's just a challenge in the sense of like, all right, it's just like a, a healthy challenge. Like, okay, let's, next, next goal, that kind of thing. Also could have to do with a, fi with financial situation, a, a job or something like that. All right. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Aries, you got Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Reaping what you've sown. But it's just, I, I kind of want to tell you to take a hard look at where you've been and where you're going at this point. This, you're kind of at a checkpoint. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with, oh, the Queen of Cups, more Cancerian energy. Also more Cardinal energy. Lots of Cardinal energy down here. And maybe that's why I was getting so damn fired up because like, I mean, Aries is a Cardinal energy anyway. There's just, there's a lot of drive here. I have to admit, I'm kind of blanking here on this Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Uh, I feel like there's nothing more to say about it. Also, though, you've got, oh, wow, I just saw that. You've got the counterpart here. King of Cups is the first card in your overall energy, now the Queen of Cups. Ah, compassion. Understanding and unconditional love. Also intuition, but compassion mostly is what's coming through here. As you look back on the situation and as you look forward towards what it is you're working, moving towards or what it is you desire, maintain a sense of compassion and unconditional love, okay, for everybody. Regardless of how they may have treated you, what not, whatever, recognize or realize or keep in mind that, you know, however somebody treats you is really not personal. It's their own situation, all right? It's an, exp an expression of their own internal reality. All right, Aries, we're going to get into your oracle message now for the month of July 2019. Ooh. One more shuffle here, and then we'll see what we've got. For my Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of July. Here we go. Best message, please, spirit, to close out this reading. Okay. 
Cool. All right. We have card number 26. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. All right, here we go. Dear sacred rebel, this moment in your life requires great courage. Fortunately, you possess that in bucket loads. You are being asked to allow yourself to be lifted out of one level of known reality and into the next level of higher voltage reality. Higher voltage reality requires a more absolute trust and a heart that is surrendered into the greater heart of the universe so that life can happen to us, through us, and with us more quickly, more radically, more beautifully, and more boldly. You are now being invited into this new reality where things happen quickly and according to bold, loving optimism. This is a reality not only of potential, but of manifestation of the great, big, cosmic yes. To access this reality, you have to leap from known waters and others may think you're crazy for doing so. You have to leave behind the dark, weighty grip of hesitation, procrastination, second guessing, and the belief you have to do everything on your own. You may fear for your life. How will you be safe in the wild, electrical pulse of so much aliveness? How will you function without the hazy, sleep-inducing paralysis of playing it safe, taking too long, and placing lesser priorities above your sacred art of life? How will you hold yourself back if you don't hold on to fear? How do you, oh, I'm sorry. You do not need to worry about such things. Life is wild, but it is also wise. It is a force of startling, raw awakening at times, but it is also the natural process of evolution where all things mature according to a seasonal cycle in right timing. You are a part of, not apart from, that process. The invitation to shift gears and jump on board the express train of life will feel exhilarating and perhaps also challenging. When you are in the hold of darkness, you will feel pushed to turn away, to imagine it is all too much, and to create excuses about how your desires aren't grounded enough, that you are being too flighty or flaky, or that you are not living, quote, in the real world. That is fear talking, not truth. If the sacred rebel is not awakened, we will continue to live in a culture drenched in fear and distrust of nature. Those without awakened hearts don't yet understand what nature knows. She knows timing. She knows life and death. She knows the creative process. She just knows and can be trusted to support us, her own creations, in becoming all that we can become. Does this mean that we become passive and just flow along like a limp leaf detached from the tree and blown about randomly by the breeze? No. Being free of the dark hold empowers us to take up our cause. This means being free to act and affirm the intuitive feelings we have, we have by following up on them. This is painting like someone who has lost their mind, completely free and from the heart, and means writing even though, it means writing even though you have no conscious idea of what you are writing, even as the words are streaming forth upon the page before your rather curious eyes. And it means speaking about your work never hiding it away. Allow it to breathe the fresh air and be held in the gaze of another. Detach from the darkness that would say it is not enough or must be the best thing ever, whatever that means, in order to be worthy of a place in the world. Instead, just let it be what it is. It might fly, it might endure, and it might not. All of nature, including you and your dreams and passions, will be what is needed, when it is needed, and how it is needed, according to wisdom. We just have to trust in this within ourselves and within nature herself through the flow of life and, and participate. You are asked to go within and imagine diving deep off the edge of what you have known. There is so much more calling to you now. It's your time. Leap. So there you have it, Aries. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. If you would like a look, again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of August. Yeah, take care. Bye.